Today, I'm going to show you how to recreate a Mangazi 3D editing style using CapCut Mobile. Alright guys, let's get started. So we're going to start a new project and we're going to use this very video. I'll be providing you guys with this very video. Link will be down there below. You can download and practice along. So just like that, I'm going to trim this a little bit to somewhere 10 seconds and tap on this and add. Now go to aspect ratio, tap on it. We're going to change it to 16 by 9. It's always going to import with the video file format. So it's good you change it to the format you want to export in. So I'm going to use YouTube format for this. Tap on this. Now tap on that very video file. Scroll on the downside and tap on duplicate. With the second one selected, tap on overlay. Still make sure you are on the second video file, the overlay, the one we just converted into overlay. With that selected on the downside, let's scroll to the right, tap on remove BG and tap on auto removal. It's going to cut out the background nice and clean. Then tap on this. Now let me zoom out and make it fit the timeline. Then tap and hold on this overlay file, drag and move it to this side. We want to make it the same length as the one in the timeline. So we're going to start this with the green rectangle shape. Let's close this project timeline. We'll come back to it later on. Then tap on new project, tap on library. Let's choose background. We want to use a background color for this. And I'm going to choose blue. I'll be explaining this to you guys later on in this tutorial. Then tap on add. Let me stretch this a bit and make it somewhere six seconds. With this, we're just going to create a green rectangle shape and export it later on. So we don't need to change the aspect ratio. So now go back, tap on overlay and tap on add overlay. Go to library. Let's scroll up. Make sure you're still on background and we're going to select green this time around. Tap on add. Let's move it to this side and make it the same length as the blue background. So with that overlay green background selected on the downside, let's scroll to the right and tap on mask. We're going to use rectangle marks for this. Tap on that and now shape it in a rectangle form, just like what I'm doing. On the edges, we want to have this roundness to it. So I'm going to stretch this icon and it's going to give me that shape. Now tap on this. And with that one selected, let's make a duplicate of that. Let's move back to this side and tap on this green file. Now with that one selected, we're going to change it and make it white. So we're going to use adjust the colors under adjust. Tap on that. And let's start with saturation. Tap on it and take saturation down to minus 50. Go to this side. Highlight, let's take it to 50. Blacks, let's take it to 50 and it's going to give us this white. We want to have white borders around the green shape. Then tap on done. Now tap on this green file, hold and bring it down to this side. We want to put that on top of this very one. Now tap on this. We need to increase the size of it. So it's going to show behind this green one. So I'm just going to go to basics, tap on skill. I'm going to add 3% to it. So it's at 89 with mine. So I'm going to go to somewhere 92%. So you can see the white borders coming around it. That's what we're trying to create. Then tap on done. So we're going to bring in one more background. So let's go back and tap on add overlay. Go to library and make sure you tap on background. This time around, we're going to use a black one for this. Now tap on done. So we're going to make it the same length as the rest of them. Let's drag to this side, tap and hold and drag to this side. So with the black one selected, let's rotate it a bit to this side and let's increase that to something like this. So with this, I'm just going to move it up on this side. Now with that selected, let's scroll to the right and tap on mask. And now tap on horizontal mask. Let's rotate it to 90 degrees. Let's drag it down to somewhere here. And now let's fade it in nicely using this slider up. So this looks okay. Tap on that. Time to bring in some text. So I'm going to go back, go back again and tap on text. 
Now let's tap on add text and let's type in what we want to write. And now with the font, I'm going to go for Monstra. I love that font a lot. And place it nicely just like this on the green rectangle shape. Now tap on animation. We're going to add in animation. Make sure you are under in and tap on grow. Let's increase that a bit to somewhere 1.8 seconds. Now tap on done and let's make this the same length as the rest of them. Let's drag it here, tap on it and stretch it to make it the same length. Now with the line animation, let's tap on add text. We're going to use a text format. Then make sure you select underscore for this. Type in few ones. Let's go for somewhere five to eight. And with that font, I'm going to leave it at Monstra just like that. And I'm going to try and place it at the top. Now tap on animations. We're going to add animation to this. Let's scroll down. And we're going to use blur wipe left. Choose that. And let's increase the duration to somewhere 1.5 seconds. Tap on done. Now let's make it the same length as the rest of them. Let's drag it here. Tap on it. And let's stretch the ending part. So now we have something like this. We go now bring one more dot. Let's tap on add text and let's type in a dot. And with this dot, we want it to be in a square shape. So we're going to change the font. So with this, I'm going to go for Bebe's Noir. It's going to give me that square shape. Tap on styles. Let's increase the size a bit. Now I'm just going to rotate it this way. And then I'm going to place it at this very side. Now with that, tap on animations. And this, we're just going to add fade in animation to it and increase it to somewhere 1.8. Then let's tap on done and let's make it the same length as all of them. Let's tap and hold, drag it to this side and let's stretch it. So now we have something like this so far with the green rectangle shape. I want to reduce the opacity of the dot and also the line. You can choose to leave this. So I'm going to tap on style and take opacity to 60%. Then tap on done. Let's tap on the line animation. Tap on style, opacity to 60%. And tap on done. Now we're going to export this very file. Go to this side and turn it to 1080p. I like to keep it at 1080p. Frame rate, I'm going to go to 24 frames per second and tap on export. And now the fun part. Let's tap on done. And let's go back to the first project that we created. That's the video file timeline. Then tap on overlay and tap on add overlay. Then select the green rectangle shape we exported. Then tap on add. That comes in nicely. I want it to start coming in somewhere here. So I'm just going to drag that file to that side. Now with that selected, let's increase the size a bit. Then on the downside, scroll to the right and tap on remove BG. This time around, tap on chroma key and use this picker to select the blue side. Now you can see it takes it off nicely. Now let's clean the edges a bit and increase the intensity a bit. Then tap on done. Now we have to place this behind me. So it's simple, just like that. Let's go back and let's search for layers. So on this side, tap on layers. And we have to put it at the back of this very overlay. So make sure you tap on the overlay and tap on back. It's going to place behind me nice and clean. Tap on done. Now let me just move it and place it a little bit up behind me. I think I can reduce the size a bit. So with that file selected, we're going to go to effect, tap on that and tap on video effect. I have it under favorite, but you can search for player and then it's going to bring player three. Tap on that and tap on it once again for the settings to pop out. With this, I don't want glow, so I'm just going to take it to zero. And texture, I'm going to take it to zero. When it comes, it's going to come at 100. Let's take it to zero. Now let's play with rotate to have the 3D look. So when you see, when I go this side, it rotates nicely this way. And then when I go this side, it rotates the opposite side. So with this tutorial, I want to go to somewhere 85 or 87. It comes with in animation and you can play with the speed. When you want it to be slow, you can take it down to this side and it's going to come in nice and slow. But if you want it to be fast, you can go forward and it's going to come really fast. So with this tutorial, I'm going to go down to somewhere eight 
I want it to come in nice and slow. Then tap on done. And with this in animation, sometimes with your projects, you don't want that to be showing. And there's one trick to play around it if you don't want it. It comes in already built in. So I'm going to show you one trick on how to do it. So with that, we need to create a new project. This just to show you guys how to play around it to take the beginning animation off. So let me import this very file that we have and tap on add. Then tap on the file. Go to remove BG, chroma key, and take the blue out. Now we can go back and add the effect to this. Tap on this and tap on it once again. The glow, we don't need it. Let's take it off. And then the texture, that's the music icon at the top. We don't need that. So we're going to take that off too. And now rotate, we can go to something like this and tap on done. So now let's bring in one blue background we're going to use. Go to library, make sure you are under background and tap on this. Let's tap on add and let's tap on this and convert it into overlay file. Tap on overlay, tap and hold and drag it to this side. Let's make this short. Now we can just export this file, go back and go back to this timeline. So this what I had previously with the in animation. So I'm going to tap on overlay, add overlay, and we're going to bring in this new one we exported. Tap on add. To not confuse you guys, let me bring that one here. Tap and hold and bring it to this side. So you can see it has this in animation already with the effect on it already. Tap on it, increase the size a bit, go to remove BG, and tap on chroma key. Use the picker to select the blue part and let's clean the up the edges. Tap on done, go back. Let's search for layers, tap on that and let's put it at the back. Now I'm just gonna bring it to this side. So now when you look at it, it has this in animation, right? And we wanna take it off. So what we can do is we can just go forward to somewhere here and trim the beginning off. So now when you look at it, it has no in animation. So from here, you can add your own animation by going to the animation and adding any animation on that side. Now I'm just going to delete that file. We don't need that. So now we have the previous one we have. So somewhere at the ending of this, we want this file to go or disappear on the screen. Just tap on that and let's work on that. Tap on animation. Make sure you select out. And I'm going to choose slide down, simple, and then you can increase the duration if you want to. And now I'll play and show you guys what we have so far. It comes in nice and clean. And then it goes down. If you want to learn more about CapCut Mobile Editing, you can check on this playlist. Catch you on the next one. Peace.